Greetings, really, Salutations YouTube. It's Aiden here. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. I'm here. Going to get the kids ready to school. The kids are getting their shoes on and we're going to go to school. There's Kate right there trying to put on his shoes. Where's Zachy? Let's go! Alright guys, we're going to head over to the post office right now. I got my packages right there. Got a jacket because it's kind of cold. And we're going to go to the Goodwill also really quick. And then when we get back, we're going to go to the grocery store with mom. But she has to finish up some stuff right now. So I'm just getting this stuff done with already. So I have to do it later. Alright you guys, we just got to the Goodwill! Super excited. Sorry for all the spinning. <laughs> Let's go inside. This little bike is so cute, but it's so rusty. Oh my gosh, they have a unicycle. It's broken, I think, but it's so cool. <laughs> Look at all these coffee cup things. Ooh, a cell phone case. Bandolier. This little crossbody bag. Oh, this is from that one. I've been to that little restaurant before. Oh dear. I almost thought they were unicorns. I almost died. This Forever 21 bag. How much do they have it for? $14. What's this? Oh, this is like the, that one. I forgot the name. Polo Association. Yeah, there you go. Okay, nothing in the cards. Let's go look at the bags first. Alrighty. Come on, handbag. Let's see if we can find anything cool today. They still have this fossil bag. Um, wonder what color it is. Is it on sale yet? No, it's yellow. And it's $12.99. There's another fossil here somewhere too that I remember seeing. What's this? I don't think there's really any new handbags in the section from yesterday. Looking through the home goods. Yaya is a group of three more women whose hearts and souls turn together, laughter and tears. This is like, uh, is that like the Yaya sisterhood? Like, that's like Yaya. And like, that's not like from the movie, but I mean. Okay, someone messaged me saying that they wanted this, but I don't know if they wanted me to buy it. So if you guys are watching or if you're the person that wanted it, let me know if you want me to get it because I will come back and get it for you because I'm going to be here again tomorrow. But this display case is really cool. It's $25. It's pretty heavy, so it's going to be a little bit to ship, but um, like where else are you going to find this? This is like a one-of-a-kind thing. So I think it's pretty cool. If I had space for it and a use for it, I would totally get it, but... Really, I don't have anything for it. Um, well, this is kind of cute. Look at this. Like that blue and white color combination. Princess. I think I saw this stuff here yesterday. Liberty Dora Tuff. How do I know if this glass is Tiffany's? I think I asked you guys yesterday when I was here. How do I tell if a glass is Tiffany's if it'll say something on the bottom? But still looking for it. Seems like that's like the next thing I'm really searching for is more Tiffany's type stuff. Nestle ink. That's a cute little cup. Check these out. These plates are so pretty. Studio Nova. New condition. Wow. 
all of the mugs. My current weakness. Okay, I have no clue what this thing is, but it's like really cool. $6.99, like a decorative piece put around the house. So I found this topiary, it's a Christmas topiary, but I kind of just want it for the base. Like, look at this, it's cool. I also kind of just want this too. Maybe spray paint it white. Ooh, they have a set of KitchenAid mixing bowls. They kind of like beat up though. <laughs> Oh, I'm looking at the furniture. This is actually like a pretty solid table. A hundred. Forty dollars. This is actually kind of not a bad console. I wonder where it's from. Oh my gosh, this table. I feel like... So many people had that table like, when I was growing up. Like whenever I went to my friends' houses, they always had like that coffee table or side table that looked just like that. This one's pretty cool too. This one's really nice. This one is, I think it's $60. It's not horrible. All right, I'm currently looking through these shoes. I'll report to you guys if I see anything like super cute, but um, I haven't really found anything. I'm kind of like scouting for tomorrow. See if there's anything green that I want to try and get tomorrow. They're gonna go on sale for a dollar. So definitely trying to scope it out. They still have that one like machine that you stand on and it shakes you and it like helps you exercise and lose weight or something. And I remember dad really wanted one of those. There was one here before and I missed out on it. Still here today. This is a different one. And tomorrow it's supposed to go on sale for a dollar, so I'm definitely going to try and grab that tomorrow, but it's really the only okay. thing that um, I have seen so far that I really like. These are actually really nice. These are Halogen, Target, or Target, Nordstrom brand, $40. They are really cute shoes though, but these are gonna go for a dollar, so I might try to get these if these are here tomorrow. If I could figure out what size these are. Size nine and a half, they're pretty big though. Won't fit mom. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Checking out all these, seeing if there's anything cool. Boots. By guess. GBX. Oh, G, B, G by guess. <laughs> GBX, I'm going nuts. I made my rounds around the store. That is still the thing I'm looking at. Hopefully, tomorrow it'll still be here for a dollar. So don't forget to tune in tomorrow to see if I can get it. <laughs> I'm gonna come bright and early, because I do want it. Okay, I don't know what it is with me and telephones, but why is this one also so fabulous? If you guys remember that, like, stone phone that I got a few days ago, or not a few days ago, a few weeks ago. Um, that one was really cool, but this one, this one is also very nice. I'm kind of sad that this little middle piece is missing though, and it is a little pricey at $20. It's still kind of cool. All right, just left the store. Look at those clouds. It looks like it might rain, but they're Darn pretty. Anyway, I'm off to go back to the house. I'm gonna go grocery shopping with mom. I think we're gonna go to Costco maybe. So do a quick Costco run and yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. So scouting was pretty okay. They still had that thing that I really wanted, that like shaking board thing. I don't know what it's called, but um, hopefully I can get it for a dollar. That'd be awesome. So we'll see. I'm gonna come tomorrow, drop off the kids. I usually drop them off at like, Eight, so I just come straight here. Maybe I don't know. Is that too early? Who knows? I'm down for a good camp out, so we'll just do it and see. All right, you guys. I just wanted to work on this. Um, I've been like, I filmed like a handbag rehab right now, and I wanted to clean up this wallet just really quickly with you guys here in the vlog. Um, I know a couple of you guys have been wanting this wallet, and I just wanted to like see if I can clean it up anymore. Um, 
than how it looks right now. So I'm just using some Cadillac boot and shoe care and my microfiber cloth and I'm just kind of going to town on this. Um, I know these white wallets are like kind of a pain to keep clean just because you're always like they're like always in your hand you're always touching them so white handbags are so lovely but they're not the easiest to keep clean that's another reason why I advocate so much for um, conditioning your bags and stuff because when you think about all the stuff that you have on your hands when you're touching things like your wallet and stuff like especially even if you have like lotion or sunblock that is going to um, affect your leather goods it could change their color or whatnot and so forth um, it could discolor any like your items or um, stuff like that so I always want to make sure to be careful um, I'm not saying like you have to like live your life always hoping to like not get a scene on your handbag and stuff but um just like people always ask like how do you like why does this stuff happen and it's that's just yeah so exposure to like um lotions body creams um anything like that face products Especially like sunblock, sunblock, sun, uh, sunblock, sunblock does have like a lot of additives and stuff too, so that can also um, discolor your bags and leather goods. So I think that's as pretty much as clean as it's gonna get. It's not like terrible. Um, it's kind of just like an off-white color. It did it did lighten um, up a couple of the spots. Um, now I do want to do the interior. Let me take the sticker off. Sometimes these stickers are the bane of my existence. Sometimes the longer you keep them on, um, the harder it is to take them off. At least they didn't put it on the leather. Sometimes when um, the stickers are on the leather, it'll take off some of the leather or the color, and that's just the worst. At least if it's on the plastic, it's just on the plastic. That's not that big of a deal. It's not going to do any harm to it. It might leave a sticky residue and you're going to have to clean it, but that's like the least horrible thing that can happen with these stickers. So I've had stickers just like rip off the top layer of the leather before. Like that's how bad it was. And then it was just like a little rectangle of missing leather. And it's like smooth leather and then like the rectangle that's removed like it's like the suede under part of the leather It's just like oh my gosh Now I'm just kind of using my nail to get off as much of the excess residue as I can and then I'm going to just clean off the rest with some leather conditioner You can actually also use um Rubbing alcohol or nail polish remover too on the residue and that will actually get it off even easier. So I think I'm actually going to do that. I'm actually going to use some leather prep to do it because it's not harmful to the plastic and it's going to get the glue off really easily. You just have to be careful not to get it and get it on the leather because if you do it's going to like remove the color so just gotta be careful but this stuff is like industrial strength that's why it's so good for like prepping leathers to um when you're going to start working on them so there's that then i'm just gonna add there you go, and it's all off, and now it just looks nice and clean. There is still a little bit of residue left. Let me know if you guys are liking the handbag rehab. Like, I know I said that I was going to do, like, a lot more. So, I've been trying to, like, step them up. So, even if I'm not doing, um, 
like formal handbag rehab videos, I'm like just inserting them into the vlog so that way um, you're getting some of these handbag rehabs in there. And so like, we can create a dialogue and like have questions. You guys can let me know. A lot of you guys have been messaging me and asking me about like repairs and stuff. And if I don't know the answer, like I always love like researching and like trying to learn more myself. So I'm just always trying to like increase my um, knowledge on this kind of stuff because I'm not like a professional or anything when it comes to this. I know like sometimes you guys think that I might be but these are just things that I picked up and researched on my own. Um, I've just tried out some things to see if they might work and then I've just gotten lucky and sometimes like I've just figured out like a lot of stuff over time. So right now I'm trying to get this pen mark off with like the residual stuff of leather prep I have on here. Now this isn't normally something that you would do, but I'm just like kind of going for it and seeing if it can remove it. Because I don't want it to remove any of the color and the second that that starts happening I'm going to stop. But sometimes it can get away with kind of um, going lightly. You might be able to remove it. Though, it's already kind of starting to remove the color just slightly. So I'm already going to stop because I don't want any more of the color removed. But, at least we're able to lighten it up considerably. Take a look at that. Now it's not like super obvious anymore. <coughs> Excuse me. So, there we go. That's our quick little handbag rehab for this video. Um, I don't know. I might want to maybe... I kind of want to try something with a color refresh on this wallet. But I don't know because a lot of people do want this wallet. So I don't want to like mess it up just trying to um, experiment on it. So I think I'm going to leave it be and try my experimentation on something else. But um, I'm actually interested in seeing something on this. Actually, I'm going to try it because if, if anything, I can just like wipe it off. Because the paint, like, comes off pretty easily as long as you wipe it off, like, um, within a few minutes. So, we're going to try something really quick. Let me see if I can ha if I have all the things that I need. And then if I do, then I'll get back to you guys and we're going to try this out really quick. Alright, you guys. So, I'm back. So, welcome to my little Frankenstein, um, den. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. <laughs> um, but, okay. So, this, I, 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 I kind of just made it up. And hopefully it's going to work. Um, but I've been toying with the idea of kind of making like almost a color refresh kind of concoction. Um, that's not a dye, but it's with paint. So, um, there, I'm using a product called Angelus Too Thin. Um, I don't know. We're just going to see if this works. Uh, I wanted to use the white because I have white paint and I don't have to like do anything crazy and do like a custom color mix to do this. I can just use white and then the too thin. I don't know how much of each I'm going to be using, but we're just going to play it by ear and just see kind of how it looks, like how the finish looks on here. And I just have a paper plate and then I have this paintbrush um, and we're just going to try this. I'm probably not using the right paintbrush because this paintbrush is like intense but it's okay so I'm just gonna put a little bit of paint on here and then I'm gonna apply now the too thin I believe this is actually what they use for um for airbrushing so if you're gonna use like an airbrush and you want to use the Angelus acrylic paint you would add some of the too thin to let it um, go through. Man, this brush is hard. I don't know exactly how much of this I would need. I'm just gonna let it go. Let it go, let it go. Turn away and slam the door. Okay, so I just put a little bit on there. I'm just gonna mix it and then see what kind of consistency I like with this I don't know so I'm um, just come on let's just make this work 
and see if I can get like a con like a consistency that I like. So um, then we're gonna put it onto the wallet and then see how that looks and how much the coverage is, I guess. So here goes nothing. I also have some paper towels right here to wipe this off if it looks bajiggity. Um, I don't know, it's looking a little streaky. But honestly, it's not the worst. It's probably because of the paintbrush. But... I actually kind of like this. Once you like kind of get like a thin coat. It's actually kind of looking pretty good. Oh, it's actually kind of nice. Once you like kind of... Can you see that difference? And like, let me try to zoom in more. Can you see the difference? I, uh, I wish, I kind of wish I had a better paintbrush for this. Um, I'm trying to break the fiber. Oh, there you go. The fibers are like so stuck together. Okay. So now I'm just going to See how much coverage you can get with this on something like this. Because I'm kind of liking the effect that it's giving. But again, it's just a little like kind of streaky, but that's probably from the paintbrush. I don't know if maybe I want it to be... Um more watered down or if this is too watered down because it's not really changing the color it's kind of just like adding like an infusion of the color right like how does that look that actually doesn't look bad i can't wait to see how it looks when it dries i mean like i'm really interested in seeing how it looks Oh my gosh, I'm having so much fun. This is like my little Dexter's Laboratory. Do you guys remember that show, Dexter? Or the Dexter's Laboratory? He's like that little um, redhead boy with the glasses. And he's so cute. And he has like a funny little... Like he like has like a... I think he has like a German accent. Which is like funny because no one else in his family does. But just him. So he's kind of like mad scientist-ish. Adorable. So also you would only want to do this on... Um, on clean leather because you don't want any dirt to be on there because um, it'll like affect the way the paint sits on top but honestly like I kind of am living for it look at the difference in like the color now so like this is like way washed out and like kind of dirtier like looking and this is like a lot more crisp and clean and more like white like how it used to be um and let's see how it layers oh it does layer so if you want like a little bit more coverage it does like it will layer this is interesting i am enjoying this a lot i actually think i want to add a little bit more of the too thin and water down a little bit more and see if that'll have any effect um Well, I'm just going to let the back dry. It actually dries really quick. It's like pretty much dry to the touch already. Oh, sorry, you don't even see that. It's pretty much dry to the touch already. Um, and I don't know, I think it's looking pretty good. I actually want to do um, like this inside part so I can close the flap and then you guys can see kind of like the difference in color. Um, plus, the this bottom part is like a lot um kind of darker than the top and he's like more of a refresh but um my concept for like kind of like thinking up of this idea was kind of like how um you can use this paint to 
um, dye fabric. I kind of just wanted to like be able to like refresh um, a color because I know um, that like with black dye I can refresh um, like black leather items but I wanted something to refresh something in color and that is I think what I was going for most I was trying to find um, some way to do something like this which I think is really 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 cool Did we just create like kind of like a new technique? I'm not gonna like say I'm not gonna like get too excited until we see kind of like the final product and see how this really looks. But I kind of like how it's going so far. I think I do need a better brush. Um, this one has just been through the ringer, and I feel like the bristles are kind of hard, so they kind of give um, kind of like a more streaky appearance but once you kind of get the I kind of go like in different directions with a brush and it kind of just like melts into the leather and doesn't look so streaky anymore and it kind of like goes away but look how white that is now this right here um we can just get that off with a little um nail polish remover or something like at the end so don't worry um really too much about hardware because i know for sure that that is easy to get off of um hardware and stuff so don't fret about that I actually want to see also how um, good this is in covering up pen marks, but there's no pen marks on this. Like on the white part at least. Oh goodness gracious. This is turning out a lot better than I honestly thought it was going to be. So I am pretty excited. I find that it's, um, this technique is a little bit easier when you don't have too much product on the brush itself. Especially when you're trying to blend. But it does stack really nicely, like almost like makeup if you like stack makeup to get more coverage like I think that's kind of like the idea behind what I'm trying to do right now it's kind of like this is like a semi full coverage stackable foundation <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about is it weird that I like to watch like those like like I don't know why I get so sucked into watching like makeup before and after videos because I think like the transformation is amazing and I feel like kind of like the same way with like my handbag rehabs like I just want there to be like an amazing before and after transformation um but look at that can you see the difference <gasps> yeah let me remove this look at that like this is it looks so much better like even though it's not like completely like covered like right here in some spots I think it looks really really good let's look at the back too ooh the back dried really nicely I need to do this bottom part so let's do this so you guys can kind of see um, how it looks now, I didn't do like this bottom part so there's definitely like still that like weird line of demarcation but I think it's looking pretty fabulous um, I'm gonna let this dry and then I think I want to try like another kind of coat on it and see um, it's, I, I think this is kind of achieving what I wanted. I think I'm gonna have to like figure out like the perfect formula for um, how I want to do this because um, 
Yeah, I like it that it's still like kind of like a very like light finish. And I can kind of like stack on the color as I want. Which I think is super cool. And I also think this is cool because it's going to let you extend the longevity of your paints as well when you're doing like something like this. So you're not like, because like, this is like a color refresh. So you don't want like extreme pigmentation. <clears throat> and I kind of got that from like um, how I use the Kiwi um, leather dye, the shoe dye to refresh black bags. The pigmentation in that formulation is not like the most um, like really intense. And so it just like kind of melts in perfectly with the color, like the, with, with like the, um, finish and color or whatever of the, um, item that you're trying to essentially color refresh. So I am very, very, very happy with how this is looking. Um, I'm sorry. I'm like, just like going nuts over this right now. I think this is so cool. I think we've come on to something. <gasps> you guys, I'm so happy that I could take you on this journey with me. <laughs> you am literally so excited. I've always wanted to try this. And like, I was like, you know what? We're just going to go for it because I just, you know, want to try this out. And honestly, it's like even better than I thought it was going to be. Now, like on spots that are like extremely, like were a lot, lot darker, I am having to stack um, the color over it multiple times, like especially around this area. That's why I keep going over it over and over because there is so much like darker pigmentation right there. Just from um, loss of color and from like probably possible stains and all that. Um, so. I've just been kind of going over it a couple times. But I couldn't be happier with how this is turning out. Like look at the. Look at that difference. Like, it's truly amazing. Like, how much, look, like, it honestly looks so good. I'm really, really happy right now. Um, <laughs> I actually think I need to do a little bit more on the back because I did um, go over the front a lot more times than I did the back. And I think I like the way that the front looks a lot. So... Um, I'm just gonna keep chugging with this really quick on the back and then I'll be back with the front and show you guys um, kind of like how this is all gonna look at the end. Alright you guys, I wanted to show you how it's turned <coughs> excuse me, out so far. And here it is. Here, I don't know how well it's coming off on camera, um, but I think this looks... Pretty good. It's really white. I got it like really white. Um, this is how it was before. Like the color was kind of going off, had marks and stuff all over it. And this did an amazing job. Now it doesn't like it had. Uh, it doesn't like um. It's not like a full painted effect look. Like it really is kind of just like adding a little bit of color. Um, there were like a couple like imperfection marks on here, like there's one right there and around here that you can still kind of see through it. So it's not like 100% covering, it's not like full paint. Like I didn't just like paint it on with the white. So it does like the, I don't know, I feel like the technique was pretty good here is the back. Um, it is already dry to the touch, I can't touch it. Um, this is just paint that I got on my hands earlier. But um, I can touch it. And it's not coming off on my hands at all. Um, I really, really do like how it's turned out, I think. 
And I think the final, um, the final thing will be how it looks once I do the top of it. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it now because I'm going to go cook dinner. I'm going to go make some egg rolls. Um, and I don't think I'm going to have it in this video. I might actually, I don't know, I kind of like how it's turned out. I think I want to do almost an official video. Well, not almost. I think I am going to be doing an official, like, video on this. Um, with, like, a better step-by-step -step than what I kind of did. Um, I think I figured out how, um, I like the consistency of the paint. And... I don't know, I kind of like how it's turned out so far. The inside is, like, really great still, too. I think I need to do... This is pretty close to the, um... Because this is, this is the top of the checkbook. And this has, like, wear on it, too, but the back doesn't really have any wear at all. And it's a pretty good match. It's just a little bit more white, I think, on here than it is here. But it's, like, it's pretty darn close, especially, like, since I didn't actually try to color match. I just used, like, the extreme white leather acrylic paint. So, um, I think it did a pretty bang-up job. Um... I might try to fix up this little scuff right there, but I don't know. I might I might just leave that because I don't want to lose the rest of this since the back is in such great shape. Um, but we'll see what we're going to do. But yeah, I'm really happy. Let me know what you guys think, too. Do you guys think, did you think I should have just left it? Or do you like, like the color refresh that I did? I also want to see how um, this really like looks once it's like super dry it's still a little tacky just because the paint needs about 24 to 48 hours to completely dry so we'll see how um this looks um i don't think i'm going to film the rest of it because i just want to see how it really does look and sorry again i know someone like a couple of you guys really wanted to buy this wallet but i really wanted to fix it up and um i think this is a good learning uh little thing we're going on right now so there we are now let's go make some egg rolls. Alright you guys, so I'm in the kitchen right now and we're gonna be making some egg rolls. So I have them right here. They are all packed up. These are ones that we rolled and we put them in the freezer. That's like the best way to store them and you can just fry them straight from the freezer. So it's really great and it makes them really crispy and crunchy and delicious. So I'm really excited. So um, let's get to it. Alright, I have my egg roll, my, my oil at medium high heat and we're just gonna throw these guys in there. Ooh. Delicious. And splattery. I'm gonna have so much fun cleaning the stove. Alright, my egg rolls look delicious. I'm frying more. The kids are already sitting down and eating. Zach, you love egg rolls? He likes to eat them with hot sauce. Yum. Cade does not like hot sauce. Hi, Cade. Sun kiss? Did you already have soda today? No. No. Okay. Alright, my egg rolls are done. Yum. Hey guys, like I said, I came back on just to end the video. Thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me today. I had a blast. Um, my dad's already calling me, so I'm gonna have to go. So thank you guys again so much for watching. Tune in tomorrow. I'll see you guys then. Bye. I just found this Mark by Mark. Found, it's actually kind of cute. It's $5.99. Let's see the crossbody though, but... It's okay. We got more Olivia and Joy right here. There's a little fossil, but there's definite color transfer on it. Lots of color transfer. We're just gonna avoid that. Oh, we got a jumper. And, oh, I need one of these little flex for this. Let me look for one. Oh, 